Hey, I'm Randy and I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Here at the Cheap Audio Man, we don't feel like audio equipment, amps, DACs, speakers, turntables, integrated amps should cost more than hiring a high quality and well respected taxidermist to stuff a hammerhead shark you caught in the Gulf of Mexico so that your wife can enjoy it hung above your fireplace as a focal point in your living room for the rest of, of your life and her life. And this doesn't. It's the Vista Audio Spark. It's a two-channel integrated amp for $389. So grab a cup of coffee, sit down, and let's talk about the Vista Audio Spark. Okay, the Vista Audio Spark. Again, $389. Two RCA inputs. It's rated at 20 watts into 4 ohms and 20 watts into 8 ohms. Doesn't sound like enough. Just wait till my final thoughts. So, it's built really well. Um, it's very small in comparison to most integrated amps. However, it's got a great power supply, great parts, toggle switches. You know how I love toggle switches. A very nice metal volume knob, very smooth pot. And it's got some cool little lights that light up. Um, and it's kind of got like a Lexan or something like that front panel. And then it's sandwiched between a piece of clear plastic that makes the light pretty when you turn it on okay a banana plug five-way binding posts on the back IEC power connection it's built well and it's small so how's it sound <laughs> So I paired this with what I would consider and what most probably would consider to be somewhat hard to drive speakers to see how much, uh, how far 20 watts could take you. All right. So tested it with the Mica RB42s. That's an 83 dB sensitive speaker. The Yamo S801s. That's an 85 dB sensitive speaker. And the Aperion Novus also an 85 dB sensitivity speaker. The good news is it got as loud as I wanted it to be at 20 watts, okay? From a sound perspective, it's brilliant. And the reason that I say that is because it feels and it sounds more spacious more open, more detailed without feeling overtly trebly. The mid range is clear. It provided a level of clarity at every aspect of the frequency range without being like super aggressive with it. When I compared this to the SVS sound base, the sound base is quite a bit more powerful and a quite a bit warmer and thicker on the low end but doesn't have as nearly as much detail as the Vista Audio Spark. When I compared it to the Emotiva TA100, while the sound signatures are similar as far as I didn't feel like either one of them had any specifically bumped areas in their frequency range, again the Vista Audio Spark had a higher level of detail than the TA100. And I used uh, two DACs running into this, the SMSL M300 and the iFi Zendac. I kind of ended up with the iFi Zendac because the SMSL has a bunch of different color options and a bunch of different roll-off modes, so you can tailor the sound a bit. But I found that the analogish sound of the iFi Zen paired up the best with this it was fantastic fantastic there's just a level of air and detail with the Vista Audio Spark that 
wasn't quite there. With really any amp that I've had, with the exception of maybe the Anthem Integrated 225. But the Anthem Integrated 225 seems more aggressive with everything. This seemed simultaneously smooth while being extraordinarily detailed and having a vast soundstage. You felt like you're in the room. I felt like I was in the room. More with this amp than I did with the, any other amps, okay? What are my final thoughts? Final thoughts on this amplifier is a lot of people are going to dismiss it because it's only 20 watts, all right? I personally did a little bit of SPL on my phone with the different speakers. The RB42s, which is the lowest sensitivity, I was able to get comfortably into the high 80s dB at about 8 foot away. But I did some calculations, okay? An 85 dB sensitive speaker at 10 watts, which is half of this, with a speaker 2 to 4 feet away from the wall, two channels running, and the listener 10 feet from the wall gives a calculated SPL of 88 dB. At 15 watts, that goes up to 90 dB. Many people think they listen to music at like 95 dB or whatever. However, that is very loud. That's loud enough to bother, bother the neighbors. 85 dB is to the point where it doesn't seem like it's super loud until you try to communicate with somebody else. And then you're like, oh, this is pretty loud. Okay, that's an 85 dB sensitive speaker, which is arguably pretty low, all right? With an 89 dB sensitivity speaker, you'll get 92 dB at 10 watts and 94 dB at 15 watts, okay? So, if unless your music is super dynamic, like we're talking really well recorded um, classical music, I don't think there's going to be any problem with the power ratings on this amp. If you're looking, so when I first got this, I'm thinking, where's the value proposition with this? It's $389. For like 10 more dollars, you can buy the TA100 from Emotiva. For 100 more dollars, you can get the SVS Soundbase. For about the same price, you can get the IOTA VX um, PA3, SA3, sorry. It wasn't until that I actually listened to it and spent some time with it. And not only spent time with it, like with critical listening, but just having it on in the background that the, the light bulb moment came on for me. I always knew that it was detailed and I always knew that there wasn't, it felt like it was very smooth while being detailed at the same time. It just was a very enjoyable experience. The more that I thought about it, it kind of occurred to me, this is, it, this is a very refined amplifier. This is a more mature amplifier than I think that I've spent time with, with maybe the exception of the Anthem Integrated 225. I'll tell you what this reminds me of. This reminds me of the Moon by Sim Audio 240i Integrated Amp, which is a $2,500 amp. And actually, I, I like this one better, not just because of the price, but it just seemed to be more alive than the moon by sim audio integrated 240i if you're in a desktop situation and you want a desktop amp i don't think you can get much better at the price than the vista audio spark okay if you pair it like with a i like the i5 zen i thought that was a perfect pairing because it it just added a bit of butter to this and this amp is not I wouldn't say is overtly bright I don't know I just like that pairing the best I think this is much more refined than the IOTA VX I think it's much more refined than the Emotiva TA100 which is my favorite in a granite amp I think it's wonderful you can pair this up with a DAC that has a remote control and make a wonderful soundbar replacement with a pair of decent speakers. And actually the speakers that I enjoyed the most on this were the Yamo S801s. 
RB42s were great, the Novus were great, but there was something special about the S801s on here. And that's like a $100, $110 speaker. You could pair this up with a sub through uh, high level uh, inputs, speaker level inputs, or if you have a DAC that has uh, a sub out, like, I don't know, the Blue Sound Node 2i is a streaming, streaming DAC. This is a brilliant product and probably the most refined amplifier that I've heard. I can't say enough about this if you know what you're getting yourself into. You know there's no remote. You know there's only two analog inputs. You know that it's 20 watts. I don't think you need much more than that because those 20 watts are clean. You're getting the 20 watts out of it. It's a class AB design. It didn't run, run super hot. I I, I, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to buy it from, from Vista Audio. It's remarkable. It truly is. It's remarkable in its simplicity. It's remarkable in its detail. It's remarkable in its maturity. And the light bulb is starting to come on for me about where the enjoyment factor is with more refined products. But at $389... It's a, I guess, a taste of the, the high life without spending an inordinate amount of money. It's wonderful. And I think it's, it's a, a wonderful company uh, that they, they care about the product. Okay? So I, I, I gushed over this a bit, and I think it's rightfully so. Um, it's very nice. It's very nice. It's, it's incredible. So if you want to support the channel, my a link to my Patreon is in the description. Patreon.com slash Cheap Audio Man. All right, we have patron-only Zooms on uh, Sunday nights. All right, you can also use any of the links in the description. I don't, I don't actually have an affiliate program with uh, Vista Audio. So if you use that, I'm not going to get anything back, but that's fine i don't care go buy this if, if you if you want to oh also i think this is better than the uh, emotiva basics a100 a100 is more power but this is it just it's it's more mature it sounds better now the a100 is also like 230 dollars compared to 389 okay anyway uh if you want to uh support the channel you can also sign up for amazon hd music for free Click on the link, scroll down to the bottom, click Try HD. You get three months for free. I get a couple of dollars, all right? So, if you're new here, consider subscribing. If you like the video, like the video. I, so, don't binge watch anything on Hulu or Netflix. Binge listen to your favorite music service or CD or record and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.